Today I'm gonna to tell you why you need to go home, grab a pen and paper, and write a thank you note. Hey guys, John T. Meyer in the office, and today I'm gonna to talk about doing things that don't scale. Now you're probably thinking, what the heck? I thought we want to do things that scale, that, that become easier over time, that grow and help your business and your life and become more productive. That's all good, but sometimes it's good to do things that don't scale. Let me give you an example. At Lemonly, at my company, when you sign up to be a new client of ours, you get a box of lemon bars in the mail. It's something we want to do. It sends a personal touch. It doesn't scale, it costs us money. We have to uh, you figure out where your address is and ship them to you but it's a unique touch that makes you step back and say, wow, they really care. Or when your project is done, our individual designers, the designer that worked on your project, sends a handwritten thank you note in the mail. That's like snail mail, not an email. In the mail to your office that says, thanks for working with Lemonly. I love doing your project. Even if you've subscribed to my point letter, pointletter.com, Justin's gonna link it up and you can download the free ebook. I try to send a video thank you individually to every person who signs up. I've kept up so far, and someday I may not be able to if this becomes wildly popular, but until I can't, I'm gonna always do things that don't scale. It shows that what you value, it shows a personal touch, and it shows that you're willing to put in the effort that most people aren't. If you have questions or something that you wanna hear on In The Office, send me a tweet, at John T. Meyer, right here below.